Hi there. Welcome. In this video, we will look at how we can utilize SAP Transportation Management to manage our own fleet of vehicles and use them in an optimal way in the distribution of our products. Before we kick off, let us look at some of the benefits of using SAP TM to manage our own fleet. First, it helps us make optimized transportation routes while considering the available capacity. Secondly, it can give us full visibility of routes and capacities, both through map views and Gantt charts. Last, but not least, it can support us in manually adjusting and tweaking the automated and optimized transportation plans. We have prepared a simple scenario. Our company is located in Palo Alto and own two trucks. On a given day we need to handle eight customer orders, all local customers in the Bay Area. We will create optimized freight orders or routes. We will also perform load planning with proper sequencing. After the initial planning, we receive two additional orders. We will add those manually to our existing freight orders. Sales order creation are activities that take place independently and we will assume that the 8 plus 2 sales orders in this scenario are created by someone else. The transportation cockpit in transportation management is a powerful tool and we will perform all planning related activities here. Our 8 sales orders are visible in the freight unit window in the transportation cockpit. To meet the requirements, we have two trucks to our disposal. We mark our eight sales orders slash freight units and let the system optimize them. We can see that our eight customer orders have been split across two temporary freight orders, $1 and $2. Our two new freight orders are also available in this window. We will now accept them by pressing save. We will now look a bit more on the second freight order. We quickly maximize the freight order detail view and get an overview of the planned route with corresponding fill rates. We can switch the view to stages and get more details of distance and duration for each delivery. The load plan view gives us the possibility to see the load list as well as the optimized loading sequence. The map display gives an excellent overview of the planned route and where the drop-off locations are located. Finally, we will have a look at the freight order in a Gantt chart and can easily see when the freight order will be executed. Let us revisit the planning cockpit and have a similar view on the first freight order. In the meantime, two new additional customer orders have been created, and we will now look at how we can handle those. This time we will try out another page layout of the transportation cockpit, Gantt chart with a map. We mark the two new freight units as well as the two trucks and get them represented onto the map. We can now see that we have new locations on the map, yet not connected to any freight order. When we drag the new location onto a route, the system provides us with a list of options. We change quickly the view of the transportation cockpit. We can see that the fill rate went up, in addition, a fifth stop has been added to the freight order. We will have to recreate a load plan and do so by clearing the old before we create a new. The functionality shown is available in S4 HANA Transportation Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Transportation Management 9.x. Before we end this video, let us do a recap of some of the benefits of using SAP TM to manage our own fleet. First, it helps us make optimized transportation routes while considering the available capacity. Secondly, it can give us full visibility of routes and capacities, both through map views and Gantt charts. Last, but not least, it can support us in manually adjusting and tweaking the automated and optimized transportation plans. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. 
More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.